Okay, what's going on guys? It's your boy, MS6UL, back here with another video. And today I'm gonna to break down my top five brands. And this could be from fashion to tech to entertainment, that kind of stuff. So this is just gonna be my personal favorite brands, top five in no particular order. Let's get right into it. Well, I'm currently uploading Well This Didn't Go To Plan video, which you can check out here. If you haven't watched that yet, make sure you check it out. And the video before that is a Yeezy giveaway. Yeah, if you're interested in a free pair of Yeezys, make sure you go check that out, because it's just a free pair of Yeezys. Who doesn't want a free pair of Yeezys, if you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get, let's get right into it. So I've made some notes. I'm prepared. I'm prepared, don't you worry. Uh, we've done a bit of research as well. Now uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first brand, you all know it. You all should have it. If you don't have it, what are you doing in your life? It's Apple. Everyone's got an iPhone. And if you've got an Android, Click off the video now. Yeah, so Apple, it was founded in 1976 by my man, Steve Jobs. Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne. Did you not know that? Just thought it was Steve Jobs, but there you go. So obviously, as you know, Apple, world's biggest phone company. They do various things like uh, computers, like iMacs, that kind of stuff. They do AirPods. And I've got my little pair here of AirPods with a nice uh, Wish case, which was like 50p. But yeah, these are the AirPod Pros, honestly. Take these everywhere. Take these on my runs. Honestly, they're perfect. The noise cancelling mode is crazy. Like, to think you can get noise cancelling for just in-ear, in-ear little earbuds these days, that's insane to me. So Apple, they've done a great job at these. Oh yeah, and if you want to know so a little, little interesting fact about AirPods, the revenue for AirPods, they'd be Adobe, NVIDIA, AMD, Spotify. You think of Spotify as like, the world's biggest like music streaming platform. They beat them in terms of revenue. Twitter by a long shop, long shop, long shot, and Shopify. Like that's crazy. Like they were just under Uber, just AirPods, just AirPods. That is crazy. For a brand to be able to do that, of one of their products outperform other companies at such scale is that an absolute, it's an absolute madness, honestly. Honestly, Apple, like they just they just do it right. Everything about it is just like everything just looks so smooth, like sleek, like high end, like the best quality stuff you can buy. And with me personally, I love things that are done well, done well. And you'll see a recurring theme of that throughout this video and how it links into like my clothing brand and everything I do in life. I like to do things properly. I appreciate things that uh, I've had a lot of effort put into them, and I don't mind paying the prices like these. I don't mind paying for these because I know they're a good quality product. Yeah, Apple technology is just the best by miles in my opinion like i'm not gonna go near an android apologies to all you android users out there like with your hawaii's in that or whatever they're called huawei's i don't know all the samsung guys out there the phone just looks like a phone that i'd have in year seven i'd probably rather take the first generation ipod touch that is a throwback as well ipod touch you know year seven on the bus just smashing out like angry birds smashing out sims what other games were there? It was like Flappy Bird, Doodle Jump, Temple Run, holy. My iPod used to like blow up. It would just be too hot to play on just because I'd be on that game. Like, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Apple, that's at number one. Amazing quality. Even even like the experience of like going to a shop, like you enjoy going into an Apple shop. Like just because it's like, it's like a museum almost. It's like kind of like a museum, if you know what I mean. But it's just like, you can go in there, you can test the products, you can like play with them and it's set out in such a nice way. I like how they do, um, like all the glass as well. They don't have like any stuff in the windows or any like advertisements or anything like that. So you can see like the, how much the activity is going on in the store and you like subconsciously you think, oh, there's loads of people in there looking at the new Apple products, getting the, the new iPhone before me. I need to go in there and buy it. Like you don't, you don't think about that, but like subconsciously that is happening to your brain. Like I just like the way it's set out. Like you can just go in, mess around with some stuff and then go out, probably take some selfies, set them as the background and then dip. Anyway, enough about Apple. Get away from the tech side of things for a little bit. Moving on to number two, Yeezy. Mr. Kanye West himself. And you know how much I like Yeezy. Like how much Kanye just controls the youth with his Yeezy brand and his music and just he's, he's, he's got the world by the balls. Let's be honest. Saw in the news yesterday, yesterday or the day before that he's officially a billionaire. And also Yeezy is supposed to be worth three billion. Three Bs, not Ms, not 300 million, three billion. I like what he's doing. I like what he's doing. 
mean, I don't like that he's making his trainers more inclusive and uh, meaning that more people can get access to him. I don't like that side of things, Mr. Canyon. If, you, if you're watching this, you probably are. You probably are a, uh, probably are a soul scriber thinking about it. Stop releasing your shoes so much, bro. I need, I need, I need that exclusivity. Yeah. So Yeezy, let's 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 do a bit of let's do a bit of background history. So Yeezy first before the current collaboration, before the current collaboration, collaboration, before the current collaboration with uh, Adidas, they did previously work with Nike. And if you didn't know that, then you ain't a real one. Yeah. So like in 2009, they did um, the Air Yeezys and the Air Yeezy Twos, and then they moved onto the Red, Oc Red Octobers after that, which they go for stupid money at the moment. So that's like the first bit of Yeezys, the first little taste we've had. And then I think, don't quote me on this, but I think Kanye, I'm not sure if Nike wanted to do another shoe with them or that Kanye wasn't allowed to bring out the creative aspects of it more, bring out the creative side of it more and do the shit he actually wanted to do without Nike like telling him what to do. I think that's why he went with Adidas, where he has a bit more freedom to get his ideas out into the world. He moved from Nike to Adidas in uh, 2000. 13 and then the 27th of June 2015 the first Yeezy Boost 350 is released the turtle dove look at that honestly they used to sell for so much they still do sell for a lot of money but i'm pretty certain they used to sell for a lot more but if you had them back in the day like before all the fakes got on, on them and like before there were fakes rolling around like bro i remember going crep city and like i don't know this must have been like six years ago or something but bro, when i went there I was still a broke little boy. I, I had my Adidas NMDs on thinking I was the coolest kid in town. I go to Crip City, bro. I just see lines and lines and lines of Yeezys everywhere. Kanye taking over. There was like, I remember there was some, I don't know, they were like, like two grand or something because they've been signed by Kanye as well. And then moving on to August of that year as well, we got the, the Parrot Blacks. My little brother has these actually. We got a good deal on them at the recent Crip City that I went to with one of my mates. They were just like unboxed and stuff. Like obviously everything's real at Cripsy. Because if it's not, you're not allowed in there. You're not allowed to sell stuff. So you gotta steal on that. Then we've got we got the Moon Rocks. We've got we've got the Oxford Tans. Those were the days when they were rolling around. I never got my hands on any. To be fair, I know a few of my pals did, but I wasn't fortunate enough. I remember the Parrot Blacks the second time they got released, not the first time. I remember. I remember I had, I had dreams two nights before and and the night of like the night before that I was getting them. I had, in my dreams, I literally, cause I was so obsessed with this shoe. I literally had a dream the night, two nights before on the night of that I got the pair of Yeezys and I was like walking around in them and everyone thought I was the shit. But then it came round to the drop day and that didn't come true. I was honestly gutted. I had like five devices. I had like my mum's phone, my dad's phone, my brother's phone, my app, the family iPad, my phone. And my other brother's phone. So I had six things. It was like half seven in the morning. And I remember just thinking to myself, like, as I was doing that, I was like, this guy, he's controlling, he's controlling the youth. He's like, he's got so much power over everyone. Like, imagine like, like making me like an everyday, like teenage slobby kid to like get up at that time to get a pair of shoes. Like that's how much everyone wanted him. And they just sell out and you couldn't get your hands on them. So we're moving on to like 2016. This is when the V2s got released. And then since then, there's been countless of shoes. I don't know how many Yeezys there are up there. So obviously there was like the 500s and the 750s and 950s. Um, and then they've got Yeezy slides now as well, but like specific designs, I don't know how many, but I'm just gonna throw all these on the screen right now. Just everywhere, they're just popping off. They're just popping, oh my God. But yeah, Yeezy taking over, bro. I, I have three pairs, as you know. Yeah, and even, even like the Yeezy clothing ranges, like this, the different seasons, I think we're on to like season nine. There's been some leaks for season nine. I don't know if season eight, eight is how either. After seeing it in like Harvey Nicks and Selfridges and that kind of stuff, like you can really feel the quality and see the time and effort that's been put into it. And just like, I just love the color palettes of it and how everything like fits together perfectly. For me, that is like Yeezy has a massive inspiration and like influence on my brand as well. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I just love the quality of them, the fits, that kind of stuff, the oversized like baggy look. Yeah, and like Kanye is just a massive inspiration of mine. You probably would have seen this in my Yeezy giveaway video, but I've already talked about like Kanye and how unique everything is and how it just like influences like the whole like culture that we have today. He's just his music, he's everything, his message behind everything. And to think this guy, this guy doesn't even have an Instagram. And Yeezy doesn't have an official Instagram either. That's just crazy to me. How can you have so much like control, domination over everything and you don't even like, you're not even on like social media. That just shows how much of a level above he is from everyone. And he's always in the media. He's always in the news, no matter what's happening. But anyway, yep, yeah, Kanye West, uh, Yeezy, that's number two for me. Okay, moving on to number three. This is where my inner nerd and my inner kid is going to come out. Okay, we're moving on to Disney. 
the Walt Disney Company, which was founded by Mr. Walt Disney himself in 1923. So Disney, they control everything. I don't give a damn what you say. They control every single space, every single show, every single network. I don't even know how much like their revenue is and all that kind of stuff or how many companies they own, but you'll be surprised at how, how much like domination they have over everything. It's just, it's just wild. I'm going to say they're the biggest entertainment business in the world. Am I right in saying that? Am I right? Does anyone agree? They are such like an absolute Goliath of a company. You can't even like fathom the control they have over everything and just like everything they are as a brand is just like insane like from the animation stuff to the to the to the theme parks to the work with marvel with star wars like bro it's crazy it is actually crazy i don't know if you know but i went to uh disneyland paris with my girlfriend grace uh last summer in september me and grace are big disney fans like we'll watch every single disney movie when it comes out and i just love disney films it's just that inner kid is just brought out i mean in disney in disney movies yeah but the the park it's insane. It's just sick. Like, like I, I used to go as a kid with my family. Like, we all used to go. And I think I, I think I've been four times in total, which is very fortunate. So we decided to go last year, and uh, it was honestly it was so cool. Like, I'm not a big holiday kind of guy. I'm not gonna lie. I like to I like to stay at home, get shit done. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just feel guilty for taking a break. But that was just like, bro, this is sick. Like, the whole Paris experience as well is amazing. If you haven't been to Paris, I highly recommend going. I think I'm going this year as well. Like we booked, uh, like I want to go back to Disneyland again for the second year in a row. And I'm 21. But it's whatever, honestly. The parks is just magical. Absolutely magical. I've just read here as well that they have 223,000 employees. Like that's a lot of people working for one corporation. Yeah, they've got like seven parks, I think. Seven parks across the world. But yeah, I just appreciate the time and effort they put into everything as well. Like everything's perfect. As I said before, I appreciate things that are done well. Disney is one thing that's done perfectly. And it also just like the classics of like the Toy Story, like Nemo, that kind of stuff. Like, I'm a big Toy Story fan. I had like every toy when I was a kid, every every Toy Story toy, that's all I ever wanted. I had a Woody, I'd carry it around everywhere. Frozen 2, bro, I'm not even gonna front. Frozen 2 was sick. I would 100% watch that again. I went there like, oh, we're getting too hard for this. And then I go into the cinema and I see one of my pals in there with his girlfriend as well. Everyone's a little kid. I, I'm not gonna say that they killed Star Wars recently, but the recent movies haven't been as good as the uh, the older ones, like personally, because I grew up, grew up on the prequels. I know that everyone roasts the prequels, like uh, Phantom Menace, Clone Wars, and then Revenge of the Sith. What a movie that is, bro! I can watch that over and over again. I remember when they came out, I was like young, like proper into Star Wars. Like, bro, I was nerding, I was geeking, I was geeking out. <clears throat> Star Wars, honestly, I love Star Wars. I'm a big nerd, as you already know. Uh, I, I spend hours watching conspiracy, well I used to spend hours like in six form, I remember when like the new Star Wars movies were just like just coming out, I just spend hours at night, I'd stay up to like 3, 4am just watching conspiracy theories of like Star Wars conspiracies about like who's going to be in the next one, who's, who's Rey Skywalker's father, all that kind of stuff. The recent one was so sick as well. I want to go to that Star Wars land in LA in the new Disney park, well not the new Disney park, the new Star Wars park in the Disneyland park. That looks insane. Build your own lightsaber, bro. I'm gonna have to break the bank and I'm gonna have to do that. I need that experience. Even with Marvel as well, they kill it with Marvel. Like I remember in sixth form when I was in like first year, everyone be talking about Marvel and all like the conspiracy theories and what the thing's gonna happen. And I'm just sat there like, <laughs> yo, I'm way too cool for this. You lot are like stupid. But like, bro, I don't know who put me onto Marvel. I think it was my friend, like my friends, like Stefan and Lewis. I think they put me onto it, and bro, since then. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Because I, I I watched the Marvel movies like in bits here and there. Like, I watched Iron Man's when I was little, but I think it's when I watched like Black Panther at Stefan's house. And after that day, I was like, bro, this is sick. And ever since then, I've been a massive Marvel fan. Like, Endgame Infinity War, top tier movies. I just wish I could go back that moment just before I was walking into the Endgame movie, just not knowing anything that was going to happen and just experience it all again. Because that, that was like, I nearly cried like three times in that movie. I'm a loser for it, honestly. I used to think people were losers for watching it like, oh, what, you watch you watch superhero movies, you're a bit childish. And now I'm all over it. So yeah, number three, Disney classic. Okay, number four, we're back to clothing, we're back to fashion, my roots. 
off-white. Where do I even start with this brand? The, the, the absolute movements they've made over the past like five years is just unbelievable. Mr. Virgil Abaloa himself. So yeah, if you, if you didn't know, Virgil had a brand before Off-White, a year before called Pyrex. He did that for a year or so in 2012 and then moved on to Off-White in 2013. And then since then, it's been an absolute journey for him. If you didn't know, actually, this is an interesting fact. A few of you might not know this, but Virgil actually used to work for Kanye back on the easy stuff and he used to be like the creative, he used to put his creative skills to work. Like I think Kanye was the guy who would sort of like come up with the ideas and then Virgil would create them and structure them and make them into real things. Yeah, but anyway, back to Off-White. Uh, so yeah, founded in 2013. Like they did the ultimate blend from streetwear and high end fashion and they just merged them together and they absolutely killed it. Cause I know like streetwear, when streetwear was like booming, like in like 2013, that kind of time, like we were there, your Supremes palaces, they're still booming massively. But then like it sort of merged that would say like a Louis Vuitton. So like a Supreme and a Louis Vuitton like put together, like they did a collab, you know the collab, you've seen, you've seen it anywhere. Some of the stuff is disgusting. It was like, it's like merging them two brands together and creating like one brand. So it's like, that's that's off-white. Um, I just love like the whole like deconstruction of everything and how, it, how it's like just merging the two worlds from streetwear, which can be seen as quite childish. High-end stuff can be seen as like mature stuff and like merging them together and bringing out like the kids and people, if you know what I mean. Um, like the designs are have a crazy, like I just like the simplicity of it all. Even though it's like simple, but like not simple in, at all. Like the logo just on the back, that big like cross thing. It is cool. Just like the deconstruction of everything and how it's all put together and just like the thought process behind each and every garment is just, it's just, it's just mad. The collab that they did with Nike is just like the 10 collection uh, that they did with Nike, them, them 10 original like Nike shoes. Like bro, they were game changing at the time. I remember the price, well, they still are stupidly priced. Yeah, they're, they're, they're some of the craziest shoes. I wanna, one day I wanna get more or less all of them. Like the Prestos and like the Jordans and the, the 97s, they're all, they're all so sick. Everything about them, it's just off-white. Like that's what I want my, my brand to get to. You can chuck the word off-white and something and it goes up in like a thousand pounds of value. Like think of an, uh, a Nike Air Max 97. I don't know, 150, stick the off-white logo on it. It's a, it's a grand. Like the power of their brand is insane and the power that Virgil has, but just imagine if they messed that up and they just it didn't bang like it did like i don't know where off white would be beat be today because that was like the most game-changing collab that there's been like to deconstruct 10 uh original like nike silhouettes and just absolutely smash it out of the park but yeah that, that collection's crazy yeah off white it's so sick man but uh, definitely one of my favorite well favorite like streetwear high-end fashion brand there is out there anyway yeah so <clears throat> that's my top four so far we gotta get an honorable mention in there we have to Soul Clothing LTD. Wow, what a brand, where do I start? Founded in 2019, they've done three collections so far, the fourth one's coming up soon. If you haven't checked them out already, I think you should definitely go check them out at soulclothing.com. They have some great high quality garments. The designs are just mad. Like the way that Matt Soul guy just gets his ideas like out of his head onto the onto the onto the screen to get printed and designed is just crazy. Like the simplicity of it, but also like the waviness of it is just it's just crazy. So I mean if you haven't heard of Soul Clothing, like you honestly been you you've been sleeping. You need to go check them out. I'll definitely leave a link in the bio for Soul Clothing Limited. Anyway, back to the video. Number five, we've got Tesla. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Where do I start? There's so much to say about this brand. If I could just like do this in short, I'd just say the ultimate innovator. They are breaking down walls that you didn't even know existed. Anyway, so a bit of backstory here. Founded 2013, it says here by like five guys. So we've got Martin, Everardo, blah, blah, blah. Elon Musk, you know who he is. But then since then, I think Elon's like sort of taken over as a CEO. His brain just be working different. His IQ is too high. Yeah, you want a bit of backstory in uh, Elon as well. He first founded Pay PayPal and then sold that and then like moved into other things like SpaceX, uh, Tesla, of course. Yeah, Tesla, man, they're just, they are the, the Apple of the phone industry, if you know what I mean. They're just break, like breaking every technology wall and doing all this kind of stuff, all these crazy cars you've never seen before with groundbreaking technology. Like I'm gonna pop up on the screen now how quick it goes, not 60, like the best, the best uh, like high spec car. Like, that's crazy, that's like, that's like quicker than like Lamborghinis and stuff like that, which you pay like stupid price for, but these cars are actually affordable. Obviously not for a 21 year old lad, unless you're actually the cashed out your face. But like these cars are actually like affordable. And I think that's his vision to provide the earth with like high quality cars that you can actually afford and people can actually use, you know, like family cars. Like he's done the bigger car, which is just sick with the butterfly wings. It looks unreal. I don't know if you've seen the recent Cybertruck as well and how like groundbreaking that is. Like everyone was gonna think like, 
or they're just gonna do like a normal like are they called SUVs am I right in saying that uh, like a normal SUV like silhouette and then just put a Tesla badge on the front of it but no he just changed it and it just looked crazy it looked like something out of like a video game like something out of Halo or something and bro I don't care I don't care what anyone says like the power of that brand is crazy and he said it was gonna retail at like 40,000 bro I was like oh, I'm gonna get one of them I'm gonna get one of them they are sick like they're just so ugly and like they're so powerful like the Note 6 is insane and it's just a car that you've never seen before yeah, but Tesla being the leading innovator that they are, allowing other car brands like Merck and BM and Audi and all, all them guys to sort of start doing this kind of technology because like once one brand's done it and you see that they can do it, all, all the other brands will follow. But they, uh, Tesla have just broken down all the walls for like innovating in technology. Everyone else is going to follow in that footstep. So over like the next five to 10 years, you can expect the tech and spec of cars to go through the roof. Like, I know in like Tesla cars, they've got like the autopilot mode and all that kind of stuff. Like you can drive and like apparently go to sleep. I've seen some videos on YouTube of that. Like these Tesla charging stations that you charge your car at. And then you like, you can sit in your car, watch Netflix on that massive screen in the middle. Like they're just so sick, like, bro, that is definitely a car on my list to get. On my list is like, I want a G-Wagon, 100%, but I want something that's a bit different, and then I want a Tesla as well, and then I also want a sports car. Like a sick, like, stupidly sick, expensive one, just for the flex. That's what I want in my, in my, in, in the future anyway. Yeah, have you heard about them underground tunnels as well that they're gonna do under LA? So like, if you have a Tesla, you can go under these tunnels and like miss all the LA traffic because that's like the biggest problem in Los Angeles at the moment, also somewhere I want to live in the future. So like just think about that, like an underground tunnel, like a tube situation that's in like London, but like for cars in LA, that's crazy. Like he's just, he just thinks differently. And like with his SpaceX stuff, like wanting to like take humans to Mars and stuff. Yeah, so then my top five brands. So number one, we got Apple. Two, we got Yeezy. Three, we got Disney. Four, we got Off-White, Honorable Mention, Soul Calling Limited. Check it out in the description below. And then number five, we got Mr. Mr. Elon Tesla Incorporated. Uh, yeah, so it's been your boy, Emma Six Joel. Hope you liked the video. Uh, be sure to check out my recent videos below. Uh, you can see him right here, right now. Check him out. If, you, if you've enjoyed this video, you might, you might enjoy it another. Who knows? Make sure you subscribe. I can see you guys that aren't subscribing. And I mentioned it previously. It's like, it's, it's kind of getting on my nerves. So you really need to like go subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. So you know that I'm when I'm uploading. And then you can like, be the first to see it ahead of the trend. You know, if you want to be a cool kid, hit the hit the sub button. Also, liking helps a lot because it like helps my videos get out to more people. Let me know. Comment down below what you think of this video. If you've got any like... Uh, uh, different views if you think that apple's trash and you think android's like the best i'm happy to have a conversation about that with you yeah so it's been your boy ms6 you're well i'll catch you in the next one peace